A little help, please. I've got some of these Lion packs. This one's the 4S1P3500 pack. I plan to put in the Nano Talon the next time I fly it. Uh, it fits. There's another one I have. It doesn't quite fit, but this one fits. So that should give me almost three times the flight time actually more because it can be flown down lower in voltage of the little old battery I was using in it, the LiPo. Uh, I also have some of these. They're again 4S1P but these are the uh, 21700 batteries and this is a 5000 milliamp hour LiPo pack. I have found I can get two of these for 10,000 milliamp hours inside the mini talons with no problem, CG, everything, and it's just barely uh, a few grams more than the uh, flights I've made with the 5,200 milliamp hour LiPo battery. I only have one problem with these packs. Everywhere I look, I can see the information that you can supposedly discharge them down to about 3 volts. I think it says you can discharge them down to 2.5 volts without damaging them. Much different than a LiPo. Uh, they don't put out as much current and can really be sucked down on a takeoff by high currents, my current understanding. No pun meant there. My, uh, I just can't find anywhere on the internet where it talks about the fail-safe voltage for a platform for these batteries. And I haven't found a whole lot. I guess I have to look more at flight videos and just look at uh, what voltage they're flying them down to in the flights because you can't find any straight up how to's like you can on lipo batteries and my vertical platforms failsafe voltage was not a big problem for me didn't take me but a couple of flights to figure out exactly what voltage i had to put in for a failsafe so that a quad or a hexa could come home and land and disarm itself <laughs> I don't have any of these airplanes set up for auto landing yet, so I won't be going to that place. But I would like to have a fail-safe voltage that gets my attention and tells me I have to fly home should I be not so close to home, let's say. Uh, and I know, you know, a fail-safe voltage that works at 2 miles is not going to work at 20 miles. Of course I know that. So there's not particularly a fail-safe voltage for this that's going to let me be flying around anywhere I want to, as far away as I want to, and when it touches that voltage it will have enough uh, capacity to get back home. <laughs> that's just not as easy in an airplane as it is a vertical. Uh, and I don't want to think that I can fly it down to 12 volts, 3 volts a cell, and still don't have the landing strip in sight. But I know I'm going to make it there because I will before I get down to 2.5. I don't understand any of that yet. So, any help you can give me towards this, telling me, hey man... You know, you probably set your cell voltage for your LiPos at 3.5, 3.7 per cell for a fail-safe voltage and time when you need to start getting them towards the landing site. Well, for this LiPo battery, that's this, X, 3.2 volts, whatever. Uh, anyway, just a shout-out for a little help. Uh, I will figure it out. <clears throat> Even if it's just because I was a mile away when the battery went below uh, flyable voltage levels and I had to go get it. <laughs> One way or another, I will figure it out. But, you know, 
you guys have helped me so much it isn't even funny so i thought i'd reach out here first save myself a little time and effort and maybe a walk all right guys thanks a lot <laughs>